Well, if for for that part of it, for that part, you'll have to stay tuned tomorrow if you want to come. I'll share all my little tricks. But today we'll be talking about the hybrid approach. So you've heard about everything that that leads to our approach. I'm I'm going to try to integrate that into what we call the hybrid approach. These are my disclosures. So the hybrid approach embraces all the CTO techniques you've heard so far. We can either do anti-grade crossing, can do retrograde crossing, that's the direction. But you can do true-to-true -true plaque wiring, or you can go around the plaque and do the section re-entry. That's what we call the hybrid approach. And it's aimed at minimizing contrast and radiation, simplifying the strategy. You want to have an adaptable plan right in advance, and you want to change from early from failures, from failing strategy. You don't want to get into a failure mode. That's really the key issue of uh, the, 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 sec, the, the hybrid approach. But also I think what's behind the fundamentals of that approach is that the section in the mind of hybrid operation is usually not a complication but a mode of treatment for CTOs. Because we know lesion length is a predictor of a subminimal tracking even if you aim at crossing within the plaque. So therefore we know you're better off committing yourself and going so minimal because we know so minimal standing appears to be safe, also likely better than a closed artery, maybe increased risk to nosis, but again, the jury is still out. I'll show you some data on this. Certain, certainly, we can tell you that knuckled wire are safer. On the left panel, you see a knuckle exiting the vessel structure because it's a tortuous vessel with ambiguous course. Whereas a knuckled wire will course, will track the course of the vessel, uh, will resolve the ambiguity on where you're going. We've looked in there, and it's a, a paper that's in press in your intervention, and it's almost a thousand consecutive CTO patients divided into two to two approach, modern dissection reentry with uh, reverse cart or cross bus stinkery or old dissection reentry with star and other techniques followed with stenting. We looked at long term outcomes, and actually, if you look at the the newer way of doing the section we treat versus two to two uh, crossing, it yields to similar maze on the long term, which is important to, to so you're not paying a long term uh, uh, toll by doing that technique if you select the right patient and how to do it. This is the original uh, hybrid, opera, uh, uh, hybrid approach that's been uh, uh, crossing algorithm has been published. I put it next on the um, wire base because it's sort of fallen out of favor unless you don't follow that technique with stenting and just open up the vessel, let it heal, and bring the patient back. But nowadays, we can resume the, the approach to uh, based on four questions. You've heard that prior with the beautiful presentation earlier on the selection for uh, on angiographic analysis. So you look at the angiogram, do a dual injection, and then you decide on the directionality, and then you decide on the way you're going to cross the CTO based on the length of the lesion. And, but the most important thing about the hybrid algorithm is that the, you shouldn't get into a failure mode. You need to switch early. And the progress um, registry has shown that, on average, hybrid operators will switch three to four times in doing this. So you need to be willing to change through your approach. JCTO score was validated. That's one of the early paper we published. But it's not that useful for, for planning. It's not going to tell you the directionality you're going to go, whatever. It just tells you that if you're dealing with a higher JCTO score, you're going to take more time. It's going to be less success. It doesn't tell you what to do. So that's the issue with the, those scores. Same thing for the progress CTO score. If you look at progress score one, two, three, it's still pretty good success rate. And you get the lower success rate at four, but it doesn't tell you not to do it. So it's not telling you what to do and how to do it, those scores. It'll tell you if what's the likelihood to succeed. But basically, the hybrid approach is more telling you how to approach this case. What we've learned, however, is very important. It's a key message, is that when you decide to go retrograde, you pay a toll. You're going to have a higher risk of complication. And so that's important. And that's the reason why I think when you... We should not consider retrograde as, you know, if you have to go retrograde, you do it. But take, keep in mind that you increase, at this point, the risk of complication to your patient. Good thing is that over time, it used to be like a fight between North American and Europe, and, and then the Jap Japanese were sort of dogmatic about two to two crossing. It has all evolved over time. We're sort of converge, uh, converging over time, even 
uh, in, at the latest uh, yeah, Japanese CTO summit, they were even talking about uh, the section tree cross boss and and stuff are coming their way, and we're merging all together. Uh, I even came with that expanded hybrid crossing algorithm in our book. It's a bit bushy. It's sort of an expansion of the this sim principle of directionality, but in that algorithm, you have solution when you go, you, you're supposed to go retrograde, but you don't have a collateral. So why would, should you do? So therefore this, so I encourage you, if you want to read in the book, get more, that's, that's all explained. But I think I'll go through example. It's going to be more, um, more, uh, uh, you know, uh, interesting at this time of the day. The, those two cases I'll present to you, they're, they're interesting because they have two CTOs each. First case is a 64-year-old guy who refuses cabbage. He has two-vessel disease with an RCA and an LED CTO. He's got, obviously, extensive ischemia. He's got normal LV. It's referenced for CTO-PCI. That's his angiogram. Uh, we're eight French bilateral uh, sheetless technique here. So for the secrets, tomorrow, stay tuned. So we have the, uh, the, the an amplats, big amplats uh, sitting in the right. Looks favorable. And uh, I'll, show you the, I'll show you the LED. The LED has got an epicardial coming from a conal branch and not ambiguous cap. So therefore, if you look at the LED based on the four questions, you've done your integrate. Is it clear cap? Yes. Is that a good target? Mm, I would say yes. I don't know. It's, it's green. It's supposed to be yes. So you should go integrate. Is that interventional collateral? Not really. They're epicardial, they're epsilateral, they're bridges. So you don't want to go retrograde. So you're going to go wire escalation. And then my plan, if I fail, I'm going to go dissection reentry because I have a reentry zone. So that was my plan. And uh, so uh, we have a branch of the proximal cap, as you can see. I'll give you another, um, another view. So we're tracking submindimal with a fielder XT. Chain with a guy a second. And I'm still submintimal, but I'm pretty close to the lumen, uh, which I thought would, uh, would, would be good for a stingray. So then I switched to ADR because that was my bail, my bailout strategy. Doesn't work with wires. Got to do ADR, bring my stingray. And then I look in another view and I'm like, well, it's a bit far from, from the, like I'm a mile away from the, uh, the target. So I didn't like it. So pull a bit the, 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 the stingray and then it starts tracking branches and going to La La Land. And I think like, mm, it's not, it, so I, I want to stop there. I still have an RCA to do. Let's do the, the RCA. So we move to the RCA and then go back to my algorithm. So dual angiography, clear proximal cap, good distal target. No interventional collateral. So I'm going to go anti grain, and if I fail, I'm going to do re dissection reentry. Still, same story for that same RCA. So I went down. So this is a, a guy, a wire that's submentimal here. Uh, but I'm clearly in the vessel structure here. As you can see, the, the, the Corsair is dancing with a vessel. Good landing zone. And then at this, uh, I, I quickly try to reenter with guy a third, failed. That's the reason why we developed device-based ADR, because usually it's very difficult to re-enter with wire. So that's the reason why this wire-based last has fell out of favor. So I brought this stingray. So at this point, you see that the, the, um, the, the stingray, uh, the, the um, Corsair is in place. So then we deliver the stingray. This is in the LEO view. You can see that the stingray is facing the right view. After a stick and swap, we open up the vessel. And finally, we got a good result. So at this point, I'm 200 cc's of contrast, and I've like not crossed two grays. What about the LED now? I had these problems to start. Integrate could not work. Wire would not work, the section. But now I may have an interventional collateral because I've opened the right. I don't know. So maybe I want to test that, right? So I went from the right, newly open right, and I surfed from the right, and I got into the LED. Beauty. I'm happy at this point. And again, if you ask me which collateral I took, I have no clue. It's all about surfing. It's all about wire. It's all about feeling. So then at this point, my microcatheter is at the distal cap. And the rest, because it was, so isolate the left, the LED with a, with a guideliner as a teaching point. And in that case, we were able to do a true-to-true -true lumen crossing retrograde because the CTO was relatively short. And we're able to reopen that vessel with a good result. 
and uh, complete revascularization of the LED and the right. So that's a, an example of a case that was done. It's a super, super hybrid because two cases with two hybrid. To, uh, I, I wanted to show you like tons of approaches you can even get through. Last case, 39 year old, obese, he wants to lose weight. He gets to train and at, all the time he trains, got those chest pain. And then nobody believes he can have angina to a point that he has an electric, uh, uh, an ATT strongly positive. And then he gets a cap, and he's got an LED CTO, CERC CTO, moderate, mid RCA, severe PL. And then my colleague called me, was sort of a skeptical about CTO PCI, and he told me, now he's not skeptical anymore. He told me, no way I'm going to send this guy, the age of my son, to cabbage. So I said, okay, that's a good argument. So um, here's the, the right's got some moderate disease, but he did an FFR uh, that turned to be positive in the right. We've got this three vessel with the two CTO. So you look on the left, this uh, a, a white circle, you see a short CTO of the LED with a, that's being fed by some collaterals, but the collateral is special. There are conal collateral, there's one coming from a conal branch, very torturous, in my experience, non-interventional, and one coming from an RV branch, a bit lower, that gets that bifurcates into a septal branch afterward. When getting off the ARV, gets, they're not really interventional. And it's got this JCTO zero CERC CTO. That's what we're dealing with. Uh, again, another view showing the uh, bifurcation at the distal cap and the long mid LED disease. So if I take this, my question, dual catheter, clear proximal cap, yes, good distal target for reentry, no. He's got a big diagonal. If I shot this diagonal, it's gonna, he may have angina. I don't want to lose that diagonal. So, therefore, I'd like to go. Uh, so, because I'd like to go integrate, but I don't want to go integrate with ADR. That's certainly not an option. If I cross with wire, that's gonna be good. But if I don't cross with wire because I don't have ADR stingray cross boss as an option, I should go retrograde. But again, I put that in yellow. Interventional collateral is uh, not quite sure. Maybe the septals, the rest is not quite good. But if I get retrograde, then I should go really easy through that CTO. So when integrate, try to integrate. And uh, again, the wire is in La La Land here. Uh, does not, is not with a vessel. So I stop, and it's a bit bad case for ADR. So I switched to retrograde. And again, you can see those collateral that are a bit spooky, but I didn't take any of those collateral. Uh, this is a Sion Blue and a Turnpike LP delivered to one of the septal. And this is real-time surfing. This is the wire pushed, and then the wire feels very easy to that point, being pulled back, re redirected up to that point. Okay, it's taking a branch. But you see the behavior, the wire is always taking the same course. So when you're tracking and taking always the same course, you're tracking a vessel structure. So we got to the distal cap through an invisible septal. And because it's a short CTO, I'm unlikely to do, need the section reentry. In that case, it was a true to true retrograde crossing. So we're able to, uh, and then externalize, you saw all those techniques, did the final kissing pot, and then we are Still left with that JCTO score, uh, that CERC CTO. Very short, bridge collateral, very favorable tapered cap. So when you look at this, it should be antigrade, wire escalation. If I fail the section reentry, and in that case, we were able to cross with a fighter wire, which is sort of the XTA made by Boston, very easily with some drilling technique we, got, we came through. And finally, we're able to open up. So that's the final result on the LED. And the final result on the CERC, as you can see, we got a good result and finally tackled the uh, non-CTO uh, uh, disease. So what is achieved so far is what we were able to do. Now we have better tools. We have better techniques. We're more thoughtful about what we can do. And I think there's a lot of the interventional community can achieve through being thoughtful about what we're doing. So in conclusion, the hybrid approach for CTO PCI, I think it's comprehensive, it's inclusive, we're not, about, we're not talking about CTO club here. It's uh, systematic, it, it encourages systematic and geographic review. We, you've heard beautiful uh, presentation, encourages change. It's uh, efficient, teachable, 
it's successful so far. We've seen many, many uh, re registries with 90 plus success and very low complication rate. It is safe, cost effective, and most of all, it's fun and rewarding. So thank you very much for your attention. If you want to read more, there are paper, there are books, but Manos, a uh, new uh, version will be coming in September of his, his book. Our book uh, published uh, two years ago is still uh, available on Amazon, Springer, whatever. So if you want to read, I encourage those presentations are one way to learn, but reading a book and getting through and understanding all the steps and everything, taking your time will be, I guess, helpful.